Hello, MacWarriors! How is it going? And welcome to another episode of MacWarrior Online! Today, guys, it is time to bring out this cicada because I wanted to try binary lasers. The new lasers, which are basically two large lasers welded together, but a ton lighter. Other than that, the same profile as two large lasers together. And it's I think it's a really good weapon for mechs that have a limited amount of hard points. So what are we doing today? We take the laser bug. Why is this interesting? First of all, we have an energy cooldown modifier of 20%. That totally applies. A heat uh, modifier of negative 10% and then also some ERPPC shenanigans which we are not using and then a 10% range bonus which is actually also very nice. As you can see we have one binary laser on the right side of our mech and then three ER mediums to complement the build so that we get a little bit of extra damage and the build that I ran before was double large laser double ear medium laser for a damage output of 28. Now with the binary lasers we have a damage output of 33 with kind of a similar idea. I love that. Absolutely fantastic. Our Cicada is run by an XL engine 255. I consider the Cicada just a bigger light mech, therefore we can go XL. I don't think we should go for a light engine necessarily. If our sights also get blasted, it's, uh, yeah, so be it. And let's be real, we are trying to make um, a skirmisher happen here. So this is a mech that is very opportunistic, that wants to be at you know a decent range to your enemy. Uh, we can do some hit and run and dive down to cover shenanigans here with the speed that we have. Therefore, we don't need the most survivability to actually absorb damage. We try to dodge the damage here. And I think this is a nice middle ground with the 107 or 8 uh, KPH. The rest, as you can see, is cooling. We got a bunch of double heat sinks and this guy actually has two jump jets, which gives it a bit more verticality here. That's a very nice thing to have. It's not a thing that I'm building around. It's just a tool for me so that we can get up the high ground if we need to. Yeah, other than that, almost max out armor. We shave a little bit from the arms. Nothing on the legs because our legs are massive and a lot of people are actually shooting the legs of cicadas. So we want to keep that. Um, but yeah, that's just the build. We'll take a look at the skills before we dive into the games, obviously. So as you can see, we are trying to max out our firepower since we only have four total lasers here. We want to be able to shoot as often as possible and therefore maximum cooldown, maximum heat gen to sustain the, the, the constant fire. And we also take laser duration because we want to expose ourselves a very brief amount of time to the enemy so that they don't get the, the chance to return fire, obviously. So the faster you are done with your firing, the better it is. On top of that, maximum skeletal density and armor hardening so that we have a bit more survivability and can stay on the battlefield a bit longer. And I was going for a little bit of speed tweak here. I wanted to be able to be somewhat fast. Again, we have this 108 kph. Didn't want to really drop below 100 kph, therefore a bit of speed tweak. Didn't max it out because I wanted my points somewhere else, but I think this is a good thing to have. Other than that, maximum cool run and heat containment. Again, it's all about that DPS. We want to be able to punch the enemies. Uh, and then, why do we have this? Oh, wait. That's uh, that's an oversight. That was an old node from the old skill tree. Yeah, I haven't touched that guy in ages. That's not what I wanted. So you can put that somewhere else, like in, I don't know, sensor range, whatever. Um, seismic sensor would be fantastic, by the way. So if you find yourself in a situation where you mean, or where you think you don't need heat containment or cool run, if you find yourself that you are cold enough, take seismic sensor. It's a very good thing to have. We also got rated deprivation so that our hit and run shenanigans are a bit better protected. I love that. So that we break the enemy's locks a bit quicker um, and then can reposition without them knowing where we actually go. And then I'm going to take two cool shots today for, again, sustained fire and a bit of UAV shenanigans because I want to be able to know what's going on. So um, information is ammunition, you know. So knowing where your enemies are is good. Anyway, uh, again, put that last point wherever you want. That's the build. I hope you're going to enjoy the two games that are coming now. And if you do, as always, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. Alrighty then, guys. Let's go. First game of the day. Goodbye, dropships. See you later. Um, yeah, we are. What are we doing here? We're playing, first of all, Mining Collective. We're playing Skirmish. Uh, the fight is probably gonna unfold around the center of the map. And I believe we need to use our 108 kph to get out of the left side position as quickly as we can. We got no ECM for us. We have um, very little firepower. Uh, it's not the most. We should we should try to deal damage over time. And yes, we have uh, not the most range to retaliate either. So what are we trying to do? Obviously, we're gonna try to meet up with the team. So let's go around the big boys. See what we can do here. There's a Waka. Was there a UAV going up or was I kind of confused here? Okay, anyway. Okay, we hold this, this line until our friends have arrived. This is a good spot to be in. We have the range here. Um, 
Yeah, but you know what? There's a Marauder in the tunnel? Oh god, Hyper Assault Gauss Rifles. Uh-huh. I'll take it. Uh, and I'll take it again. Cool. Uh, let's do it again. Ah, uh, and he is now on me, right? Is he? I mean, yeah, we stay on him. We totally stay on him. Yeah, poor guy. Poor, poor guy. We got the side torso. That's all I wanted. I'm gonna pull back now. I got what I wanted. So, uh, artillery strike. We turn around. Uh, UAV above us. I have nothing to do. Uh, nothing that I can do about it. We're gonna ignore it and avoid it. All right. Okay. Some damage in there. Try again. Hey, I, I can see your buddy. You're sticking out. Oh, there's a guy up here. Oh, crazy. I can still see you. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. Uh, not even that. So, uh, you wait up. I want to know what's going on here. Ah, there's a lot going on, sadly. Okay, unfortunately, there's very little help on the right flank. Ah, this is risky as hell. Absolutely. Oh, God. Wait, 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 wait. You need help there? No, you don't. You're fine. That's the thing. You are totally fine there. Um, I should not draw my firepower away from what's going on here. I want to get the Hellfire. Or stuff on the high ground. Okay. Wait. Oh, there's a Delta 6 guy? I cannot go there then. That's an assault mech. I have to stick with the pack. And as much as I hate it, we're doing some kind of NASCAR right now. Um, it's not an assault, actually. It's a Phoenix Hawk. Light mech stuck. Very good for us. It's an Incubus. Okay. Oh, that's great. That guy got shredded. Do we need... Do you need help up there? Everybody's so scattered. That's so weird. Okay, we wait for those guys to come up. There's a guy. Um, nobody's really targeting me. That's uh, pretty cool. Herbie is getting cut to pieces. Okay. That's great. Are you... Okay. I'm gonna say affirmative there. I don't like it. Since he's calling for it. 700 meters. I'm barely dealing damage. Oh, here. Here, here he goes. That's the Phoenix Hawk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, get the Waka. Not the greatest target for me. Can splash the damage like a boss. But hey, let's try. Is a Phoenix? Yeah, we wanted to help, so let's go ahead and help. Um, here we go. Not quite. Ah, it's three and four. Come on! Ugh, Phoenix. We didn't quite get him. Nope. We're on his tail. No. Oh, God. Yeah, the Lightmaker is going to take him down, right? Not quite, though. Not quite. It's five and four. I'm taking too much attention away from the main force. I don't know what's going on here. Come on. Uh-huh. Not like this. Can you do it? Yeah, you could. Perfect. So, seven and four. Running back. I'm not really that hurt. That's good. That allows us to actually be a little bit more aggressive here. What a scattered fight. So weird. So, so weird. But, I mean... Lots of people were picking individual fights and then calling for assistance. Guess that's what it is right now. We gotta deal with it. Okay, um, can barely see at that range. Okay, let's go eight and five. Looking solid. What are you shooting here? Is there anybody? Actually, I think we should really push high ground. Let's go through the center. Uh, we have two people already pushing that direction. Uh, but... But... Where are the enemies? We know that there's a shadow cat up there. But the rest... I have no idea. Alright. I mean, I got jump jets. <laughs> Barely using them here. Let's use them, actually, shall we? Hello, my friend. I'm coming for you. Getting shot from the left. Eight and six. Ah, enemies are slightly coming back. Ah, that's bad. Okay. Shadowcat is up. No, it's a huntsman. I cannot fight all of these. Nope. Okay. Got some damage in there. Come in again. Come in again. I know that an enemy is to my right. Oh, bad. Oh, bad. 800 meters. Barely worth shooting. I'm gonna try to take the Huntsman down now. If I'm not stuck on this stupid ledge. Nope. Okay. Fine. Well then. Huntsman can do whatever he wants. Mm, there he is. Oh, and there is the other guy. I was waiting for him. All right. Uh, 10 and 6. This is the time where we go. Yeah, a bit confused there at the at the end, but hey, let's let's just go. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. 
Okay. Hello, Mr. Black Knight. I'm not here. Ooh, good hit. Very good hit. Gonna splash that. Can we go for him? Yeah, man, that trade. That was clutch. That was so damn clutch. And we're gonna try to get that kill as well, and we do. Cicada, man. Such an unobvious little bug. Didn't even need our cool shots because we had too much, well, not too much, enough time between these engagements. Could cool down all the time. Yeah, we dealt uh, 523 damage. We got two killing blows, eight assists. We got uh, four components destroyed. And I'd say, yeah, within the team, I'm pretty happy with my damage score so far. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alrighty, guys. Next game. Let's go. We're playing Solaris City. And we're playing Domination. Alright. Um, should I go into the circle? I'm gonna say no. Nah, I think we're gonna try to be a flanker, a harasser, a mid-game poker. Trying to hold some corners, maybe. Doing something like that. Uh, I mean, we can get into the circle to catch it early on. But I don't want to necessarily stay there when the big fight unfolds. So, let's push into Delta 5. And then, hmm, my friends are going more to the right side. Yeah, I'm gonna join them. I'm gonna go with them. So, here we go. Getting into the circle, doing our duty as a light mech. <clears throat> yes, Cicada is a light mech. It's not, but anyway. Um, yeah, we got it. Perfect. Just a second too late. Just one second too late. But that's okay. So, our little friend, the Jenner, is moving. Oh, uh, yeah, you know what? We're gonna try to get some early damage out on our enemies. We can retreat and regroup at any point. Center is clear. Oh man, I wish I had Seismic right now. I don't think I have picked it up, right? Oh, here they are. Okay. Here they are. Bit of NASCAR, I know. Oh, where is he? Is he up high? There he is. Alright. That's a mad dog with lerms. Got a lot of LRMs. The Ram. The Ram is his friend. My enemy. Okay. I will put a UAV right here. Cannot. Why not? Okay. A second too late there. Uh, anyway, uh, at this point, we're gonna wait for the big boys to arrive. Because I, I have no info. Actually, I could bring information for the team. Let's put a UAV up here. Ah, I was under under the bridge. That's it. Okay, so the UAV should uh, give us information on the center of the map. Whoa. God, this is so risky. Let me see. Can I get the angle on this guy? Probably not. Let's see what's on the right corner. Uh oh Scary. Scary. Scary, scary, scary. Oh, here we go. I don't want any of this. Turn around. Absorb with the sides, the shields. What are you doing up there? Alright. MRMs. Uh, and yeah, I mean, we have some we have some enemies on that side. Lots of rotaries. I don't want to be here. Let's get out. One shot for the dervish, I believe it was. And then we're gonna try to find an angle on... Actually, no, that's bad. That, that would be terrifying. Yep. Um, the center is being overrun, so we're gonna disengage. Which means that this, this side here is free to take. Okay. Random damage is random. I know. But uh, there's a push going on. I hate that we are so clustered. Okay, my friend, you have a target. Uh, hello, my friend. You've got SRMs? No, thank you. Oh, this Stormcrow is out for blood. Let's help him out a little. Pull back. I hate that artillery. Catapult coming in. Uh-oh. Yeah, we are losing the fights because we are too clustered. To be honest, not good. Not good at all. Didn't even get the Mad Cat. We should try to... Oh, no. No. Stuck. Bad. Um, Stuck between a rock and the hard place. I think that we can really do here. There's no back and forth. Actually, there is a back and forth. There is a flank happening. Hey, stop that, okay? <laughs> Thank you. Good. Uh, we have a flanking maneuver going on here. I should have stayed. Mm, made a, made, made a, the wrong micro decision here. Okay, let's stick with this flank. Actually, no. Another bad decision. We should have stayed on the right so our huntsman could survive. Um, hunting down that one guy with 10 mechs, not a good idea. Be quick about it, guys. Be quick about it. Yeah, cannot cannot get an angle. I'm gonna help out here. Okay, Crusader. Ooh, small laser ERPPC. That's a nasty one, man. But we are in his back. We're gonna get another shot out. And this is where we're gonna go now. It's five and four. Technically, we have the upper hand. Uh, but just technically. Just technically. Bad positioning. 
Let's move around. I want to be in the enemy's flank. Also, are we losing the circle? We have we have people here. We have people in there. Bad shot. But anyway, I want them to collapse that flank. Or to move in. So we can be here and give them hell. Fine. Sorry, don't want to block. Don't want to block. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ooh, here we go. Yeah. He's coming in, but he's going to go down as well. Nope. Not quite. Uh, Stormcrow is my battle buddy at this point. Target destroyed. Love to hear that. Let's counter push. Let's counter push. There's one enemy engaged in the center. It's a light mech. Uh, the guy on the left is dead, so we go in here. Try to take that very fresh timber wolf. But I think we can. That's good. That is perfect. Eight and seven. Bad shot. Uh, nobody here anymore? I'm gonna go now. I cannot go. I, I just can't. Uh, yeah, I'm very much dead at that point. Oh, boy. Then the enemies were coming in to finish what they started. But anyway, I mean, 610 damage. It's pretty cool. Let's see. Are you disconnected or are you waiting for an opportunity? You are waiting. Perfect. Yeah, give that wolfhound some hell. I opened them up for you guys. Beautiful. 10 and 8. Looking great. They still have this um, timber wolf, which is somewhat fresh. Very nice. Oh, might have been the other one. Uh, but anyway, double wolf arms. Yes! Yeah, and the brawlers are finishing the job. Mm, that's teamwork, man. That is a team kill? <laughs> teamwork! Hey! GG, guys. GG. I gotta say, I love this little bug. It's so fantastic. It has mobility. Not the most mobility, but just enough to get where it wants to be. It's a medium range fighter anyway. So we don't have to be super fast to skirmish around in super close range. But if you get pushed, you can see we get some problems. Anyway, we got a killing blow, two KMDDs. Uh, we got 610 damage with those lasers. Beautiful. One component destroyed. Guys, that has been it for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, as always, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel for more. And I hope to see you next time, guys. Goodbye.